Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about typecasting operation and compound operators in C language. So, let us start the video. First of all, what is typecasting and why it is important in embedded systems? Remember, typecasting is a very important feature of any embedded system and especially in C language this is used to convert one data type into another data type. It is also known as data conversion and type conversion and in many books you will find data conversion and type conversion instead of typecasting. But it is well known with this name typecasting. Remember in typecasting one type of data type is converted to another data type. So basically in C programming there are two types of typecasting. What are those two types? First one implicit typecasting in which the operands of two different data types are automatically converted by the compiler. So here the user do not have to write a special typecasting function to convert the data type. The compiler automatically converts the data type from one form to the another form. That is called implicit data type, implicit typecasting. Now, there is a second type of typecasting which is known as explicit typecasting in which the data type conversion function has to be written by the programmer himself. The compiler will not do that typecasting for you. Okay. Some of the important rules to remember when we are using typecasting is that the compiler will typecast the data from one type to another type only for those where the smaller data type is to be typecasted. Let me explain that in detail. For example, integer data type should be converted to float, float can be converted to double and characters can be converted to integer. Remember, float is considered to have higher data type or bigger size in the memory. Similarly, double occupies a larger size than the float and integer takes more space than the character because we remember character is one byte and integer is a four byte variable when we are using a 32 bit system. So for implicit typecasting, the compiler will automatically convert the data type from one form to the another form. And this is the table which is shown here on the right that integer will be automatically typecasted to unsigned integer and long. So integer here is the smallest data type in this table. Okay. But remember there is one more char in the bottom and then long long is the, the biggest memory taking variable. Okay. So the biggest typecast. So now the here in automatic typecasting or implicit typecasting, the compiler will be managing your typecasting. Okay. And remember never to typecast a bigger data type into a smaller data type because you will lose some information. Okay. Information. Because we know that we cannot push a larger number into a smaller space. So this shall be taken care when you are doing a typecasting. Now coming to the compound operators. In the previous video, we have talked about arithmetic operators where we have talked about plus minus multiplication, division and modulus. So C language allows us to use arithmetic operators with assignment operators. Assignment operators 
are generally for example here in this case we'll be talking about is equal to sign okay so what does that mean compound operator whenever you want to write a code like this count equal to count plus 10 in that case rather than writing it in this form you can also write it in this form count plus equal to 10 so remember this is this operator here is known as compound operator it is not only applicable for plus or addition it can be used for subtraction multiplication and division operations also for example counter minus equal to 5 can be read as counter equal to counter minus 5 okay so counter equal to counter minus 5 okay similarly if you want you can write count of compound operator like this also what does that mean a is equal to a divided by b plus c so how to write this thing a then equal to a divided by b plus c okay so in this way we can use compound operators but now the question is why we need to use this compound operators the advantage of combining operators or compound operators is that program statement becomes much easier rather than writing a long code you can write a smaller code secondly the resulting expression is usually easier to read for some people it becomes difficult but in general it is easier to read and use of compound operators in embedded systems especially can result in programs that can execute faster so remember using compound operators may increase your speed of execution also so let us go through an example and try to understand this program so i'm just copying this program and uh, here we have the program okay so first of all i will try to build the program and here you can see after building we are getting zero error zero warnings let us go through the program and execute it step by step i am using step by step compilation so here int num equal to 43 okay so num variable got 43 value and then c is care okay and then we are going down float sum so there are three different data types used in the last three codes or three lines int care and float now we are trying to find this value sum equal to num plus c where sum is float num is int and c is character remember k here k in ascii value it is equal to 107 please refer to any ascii table to find the value of small k small k ascii value is 107 so sum should be equal to num plus c whereas sum is a float num is an integer and c is a character so in this case it is an implicit typecasting why because sum is a float which is the biggest or the biggest data type among the rest of the data types so the compiler will automatically manage it and there will not be any error in that case so sum has been generated which is equal to 150 which is the sum of 107 plus 43 and if we want we can print it and here percentage f is used because that's the data specifier okay so here you can see sum equal to 150 dot 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, because we are representing this data in floating type data type okay now for explicit data type or explicit type casting we are using another variable a which is equal to 
which is a floating value and then int b is equal to int a plus 1 why we are using this particular type casting function here you can see int is kept in the bracket so this is how you type cast or force one data type into another data type if we don't use this bracket in that case we will be getting a compiler error why because we are trying to type cast a larger num data type into a smaller data type for that we have to use data type casting function in which we are forcefully telling the compiler that we want to add a with 1 but before adding convert the floating a to integer value so now when we convert the floating value 1.2 it will become 1 in integer data type so 1 plus 1 b will get the value 2 so you can see here b is equal to if we type if we try to print the values you can see 1.2 okay a is 1.2 yes a is 1.2 whereas the result b after printing you can see the value of b is 2 okay which is a decimal number or you can say an integer now let us talk about compound operators here we are going to initialize two variables both of integer type count and count1 count is equal to 10 and count1 is equal to 5 so let us check here you can see count is 10 and count1 is 5 now now here you can write this code like count equal to count plus 10 so what it will be the, the result here count equal to count which is 10 plus 10 20 so let us check here okay so you see here count equal to 20 which is 10 plus 10 otherwise we can write count plus equal to 10 what does that mean it again says count equal to count plus 10 but remember here right now the count is 20 so 20 plus 10 we should get 30 in the answer so now here you see count is equal to 30 so this way you can use compound operator to shorten your code length at the same time if you are using it in the embedded systems like i said before it will execute much faster than this particular type of coding now this count 1 we can read it like this count 1 is equal to count 1 minus count okay So now let us check count one is equal to minus twenty five because count one initially was five so five minus thirty you will get minus twenty five okay done now here we are saying count is equal to count one into count okay so count one is equal to count one multiplied by count so. now we have the value of count 1 which is minus 750 and similarly you can do count 1 is equal to count 1 divided by count okay so here we have to write it in this way let me just correct this code count 1 minus count okay count 1 multiplied by count and in the last count 1 division divided by count that's all let us execute it again and this time i will be going a bit faster because i have explained all the previous things now here we we are declaring two variables a1 and b1 a1 is a float and b1 is also a float but a1 is initialized with a value 25.53 and b1 is initialized by a value 5.23 let us execute that part and we can see here a1 is equal to 25.53000007 similarly b1 is 5.23000002 okay so these two are floating values and i am initializing another variable c1 
by value 10. So C1 is 10 now. So we have three values A1, B1 and C1. Now again we are using a compound operator. So C1 is equal to C1 divided by uh, C1 plus this whole equation. Okay. So I can write it like this C1 equal to C1 plus this whole function. Okay. Please take your calculators and follow the function and try to find out the value of this particular compound operation. Let us go fast and check the result. So C1 should be 10. Why? Because 25 divided by 30 okay, will be a floating number which comes somewhere around 0.83. So plus 10. So 10 plus 0 0.83, 10 0.83. But in the end we are converting it into an integer format. So the result will not be a floating number like 10.83. It will be converted to integer that is 10. So that is why we are getting C1 is equal to 10. I hope you got this two concepts of C programming, the typecasting and the compound operators. If you have any doubts or queries, please post your queries on and suggestions in the comment section. If you have not subscribed the channel, then I would request you to please subscribe the channel and please share your comments and opinions in the post. Thank you and stay safe.